I have been using OneDrive for over 7 years and in this video I'll show you how to use it on Android. So let's get started. OneDrive's interface has been changed recently and when you open it you see photos first. These are not your mobile photos, these are your OneDrive photos. Clicking one gives you the options. Files is where you will find all the files. The home tab shows your recently opened files. My files has your file directory. Each file has the creation date and the size. You may sort those files from the top and this menu lets you share it, rename it, make it offline, delete it and see its options. The shared section has all the shared files and folders. Then is the vault tab to password protect your essential files followed by offline to see and open the files available offline. Now we'll upload some files. Everywhere in the app you will find this plus icon. Clicking this lets you create folders and documents and upload files. Tap the upload option. Then pick the files to upload and they will be uploaded to the open folder. You need to have the document app to create and edit documents. The scan option is good for scanning documents. Like uploading files, downloading them is easy. You can either download the file or make it offline. To download one, click it and then select download. We can't download a folder in the app. When you click the download button, the app asks for the location to download. The other option makes the file offline which means you can access it in OneDrive at any time. When the changes are made to the file, the app will automatically download the latest changes. To see all the offline files, you can go to the offline tab. We can't make a folder offline for free, for that you need the premium plan. One of the most essential features of OneDrive is file sharing. To share a folder or a file, tap those three dots and then share. You can click the copy link option to make this file publicly accessible to everyone with the link. To add specific people to this file, you may invite them from here. Then permissions can be set to ensure no one edits the contents of this file. All shared files can be accessed from this shared tab. We can manage access to those files once the shared purpose has been fulfilled. Click the three dots of a file and then manage access. Finally, click the remove button to stop sharing it. If you don't see the manage access option, you can go to the details menu. Then from the shared section, you can stop sharing the file. The next feature is vault, but unfortunately it did not work because every time I set it up and then close it and then open it again, it kept asking me to set it up again. I could not upload any files to the vault as well, so we'll have to skip this section. OneDrive has tried to be Google Photos by offering this separate photos interface. All your backed up photos from all the folders are placed here. We can see moments which are memories in other words. Albums can be created and favorites can be added. Click those three dots to see the image options. We can edit an image but uh, that's for another video. Commenting and sharing are part of this app. With this we can open the photo in another app but uh, I didn't find that useful to be honest. Now we'll cover some additional features that make OneDrive an amazing drive solution. The recycle bin stores deleted files so you can restore them. I think files are saved here for 30 days by default and then are permanently deleted. You may delete those files or restore them from the menu. OneDrive supports adding a work or school email along with your personal email. However, we can only add one personal account. For Samsung users, OneDrive lets you sync your gallery images to the cloud. You can enable it from here or from the gallery settings menu. The camera backup feature will backup your camera uploads. However, I don't think you should use it if you have a free plan because 5GB will fill up pretty quickly. Other settings are device theme, syncing network preferences, file extensions and notifications. Overall OneDrive has improved a lot but uh, like a typical Microsoft app, 
it has a lot of problems and it keeps showing me its premium features again and again which feels like it's forcing me to sign up for the premium plan. Anyway, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.